Hello, this video is going to be about updating library copies. So first you'll go to the catalog tab and then on the left, update copies. Up to individual update. And then you'll see three fields that you can change to set the criteria that you want to change in the catalog. The only options are sublocation, category, and circulation type. So you can choose any of these, or you can choose a combination of them. Once you use one, you'll notice that the other two disappear until you change it back. And once you do that, you can interchange it. It really doesn't matter which way you do it. So for categories, I have my display books all in the copy categories. That makes it easy for me to pull a list of these and send it to my volunteers to pull those books for um, changing out displays. For circulation type, I had to do this one today, um, which inspired the video. So. I had a bunch of teacher resources, new bookworms books, and um, unfortunately I forgot to change their circulation type from the default book to teacher resource. And the reason I would do this is because I don't want the students to be able to look up the teacher resources in the catalog. And so I have the student circulation um, access in the catalog, I have it blocked for teacher resources. And then this way I can look them up and the teachers have access to look them up, but the students don't. Plus in the settings, I also have teacher resources due date as the end of post planning and regular book due dates for the main library where students get their books from. That is um, two weeks before inventory begins. Um, the end of the school year. So that's why I changed the circulation type. And then sublocation. If you have genreified your library, you've probably used the sublocation for your different genres and your different um, specialty things. Like um, we have a few Spanish language books, but we don't have a lot. So I've got them in a special sublocation so that I can find them easily if I need to. So if you need to change any of these, you pick what you like to change. And then click back in this box and you'll scan your barcodes. When you're done, you can click update. Now, if you want to update more than one barcode at a time, you can do a batch update. So you've got these fields to choose from. You can add a category that you already have um, in your category list. Like these are my categories. Or you can change the call number prefix. Say you want to change your call number prefix from FIC to just F. You can do this here. Just put whatever you want it to be here. And then scan your books. Or if you want to um, change the circulation type like we did on the other page for individuals or the sublocation. Okay, you've got three fields so you can change three things at the same time, just like on this page, up to three things at the same time. Okay, now you can either work from a barcode list that you've already, um, no, I'm sorry, a list that you've already made and change any of these that you've made, or you can do the barcode list here. So you would just click here and then scan all your barcodes and they show up in this box. If you've made a mistake and scan something that you shouldn't, you just click on the barcode number and click remove and it will take off just that one. If you scanned a book more than one time, the barcode will show up more than one time, but it doesn't matter. Or of course, if you have a file of barcodes, you can access that here. Now down here, it says this process cannot be reversed, but don't let that scare you. If you make a mistake, you can fix it. 
it's just not an easy fix. You can't just hit the back button or say undo and it work again um, and be reversed to what it was before. You just have to go through this again. So say I was trying to change a sublocation to crustaceans and worms, but I accidentally clicked the other 595 spiders and insects instead. And then I scanned like five books or so and then clicked update. Well, all I have to do is just go to this page again, change the sublocation to the correct one, scan those same five barcodes, update again, and then my error is fixed. So that's it. That's how you can update that information in your catalog.